This is a beautiful condition car. It's a 1974 Pontiac Grand Le Mans Sport. Powered by what I believe to be its original 350 two-barrel V8 engine with power steering, power brakes, factory air. Even the original green paint still underneath the hood. A beautiful car inside and out. It runs excellent. AC belts all complete. Engine compartment looks really nice. Detailed nicely. Jammed out properly. This is just a lot of car for the money, especially with the bucket seats and full console. Hood gap on the driver's side is excellent. Does have a couple little, uh, couple little dings right here. Just very, very minute, but kind of a raised up ding right there. Uh, hood gap across the front looks nice. Both sides are nice and spaced. Passenger side gap's great. The hood fits perfect along the front and back. The bumpers front and back are both original, and they both are in really good shape for original. Um, you know, there's a few scratches and stuff like that, uh, imperfections here and there, but all in all, um, you know, they're car crews, local car show ready. Um, the grill does have a, a busted out spot right here. Other than that, the grill looks good, a little pitted, it's original. Um, this plastic piece right along the front here is excellent. A lot of times they will uh, break and crack. There's no cracks or breaks in that anywhere. As we look up and down the sides, whether you're looking up the driver's side or passenger side, this is a super straight car with uh, very, very nice uh, shiny paint. Looks like it's been all buffed out to a beautiful shine. It's got the Pontiac rallies with the uh, wider white wall tires. It's got 215, 75, 15s on it all the way around. Sorry about that. As far as our hood paint goes, I, I mentioned that little imperfection at the very front. Other than that, there's not a chip or a ding or a scratch or a blemish in the hood that I can see anywhere. Um, front fender on the passenger side is absolutely perfect. Not a scratch, not a, a ding, nothing. Really, really nice. Um, rocker panel looks good. Door looks excellent. Here again, I don't see any imperfections that I can speak of there. The door gap um, is a little bit, a little smaller on the bottom than it is on the top. I'm guessing it's probably had quarters on it before. I think it has, but they did do quarters and it's very, very solid. The lip's nice. Um, no blisters anywhere down low. No blisters around the wheel well or behind the wheel. So, very nice paint. Um, no scratches in that quarter panel. As far as a roof goes, same thing. Beautiful paint. Vinyl top is excellent. There's no soft spots or blisters anywhere around here. It's kind of a neat design. I love the uh, tail lights and stuff, how they're sculpted in that back quarter panel. Um, another thing, I talked about the uh, rubber in the front between the bumper filler panel, and this one's in great shape as well, so very hard to find that that way. Back bumper's nice and straight, don't see any major dents in it. I am missing one uh, um, turn signal light here, lens, and you look at this bumper, it's got quite a bit of oxidation here, right along back through here. But very straight, if you want to rechrome it, you can, but it looks fine for a driver. Paints between a, a driver quality and a show quality paint, I think it's got a great shine. It's got a great metallic in it. Very nice. Um, trunk lid gap, shadow out of the way. Looks good. The inside of the trunk's jammed out, beautiful. Very nice. Got the spare jack. Um, just super nice in there, too. Laser straight on the driver's side, 
Um, no blisters on the quarter panel or fender, rocker, you name it. It's just as nice as the passenger side. I don't see any scratches, blemishes. Uh, there's one uh, There's one scratch right here. It's just in the clear coat though. I think that would West Santa buff out. Other than that, there's one chip right here in front of the door. Uh, door gap is good though, front of the door gap. All looks good, Not plenty of space up there. I'm guessing that chip happened when they were fitting it. Door gap on the back of the door to the quarter has a nice even gap. As we look at the bottom corner of the door, it's absolutely perfect. Bottom of the door is nice. It's got its original uh, door panels on it, original seat covers as far as I can tell. Door jam paint was all done very professionally. Same time the body was done. We'll go check out the passenger side. I forgot about that. It's kind of a neat paint color, kind of a lime green almost. Corner of the door is great. Bottom of the door looks good all the way. Just a little bit of surface rust. You can see that there, but no damage at all. Um, rubber is very nice and pliable. Door panel is original. It's got a little wood grain in it. Door jam paint is nice. No flaking, nothing like that. Uh, seat's in perfect condition on the passenger side. There's no rips or tears in the seat. If you look at your seat back plastic, you know, they've got some scuffs in the seat backs themselves, but you know, they all do, whether it's a Mustang or what. Uh, back shelf's perfect. Um, it is missing the cap for the dome light lens. Other than that, the headliner's in great shape. It's all original. Uh, back seat um, matches the front perfectly. I have every reason to believe that that's the original carpet, original seats and door panels. It all appears to be original and is in fantastic shape. Dash pad, looks like it might have a small crack on the driver's side, we'll go over to that. Other than that, the passenger side is perfect. Um, it's got all the AC vents, it's got the factory floor mats that match the carpet. Carpet's in fantastic shape. It's got the original uh, Body by Fisher um, chrome sill plates and they're in good shape still. It's got the factory console with the wood grain to match the door panels. Um, glove box, console. Door panels, the wood grain all matches properly. Big heavy door and it closes nice. Car's got single exhaust, has a nice sound to it. It's not missing at all. Driver's side seat is excellent as well. There's, looks like almost, I don't know if it's a cigarette burn or what. You see that there? Two little tiny little holes right there. Other than that, driver's side seat is perfect, except for your plastic. You know, it just kind of deteriorates and scuffs. If we look at our door jams, um, bottom corner of the door is great. Door jams, paint's all been redone. Gas gauge works. Um, one thing on this car, the speedometer does not work. Um, and to be honest with you, I haven't checked if it's a cable or, or what, so we'll check that when we get back. Wipers work properly. Horn works. Heater fan works. I'm guessing the AC probably needs to be charged, but we'll, we got the AC turned on here. It seemed like it kicked in. Let's see if it gets cool. It's got a AM, FM, 8-track radio. Not quite sure how to, there we go. That works properly. Shut that off. Um, glove box is nice and clean in there. Engine runs fantastic. It does need a little clip for that um, shifter in the console or just a little three prong clip. Ashtray is nice and clean. You set inside here in your console lid. That's fantastic. There's a spare set of keys. So the wood grain on the dash matches everything. Like I said, it's, it's a sweet original car. It's 
got power steering brakes in here and the steering is excellent. Kick down works on the transmission. I roll my window up. Very nice and smooth. I feel a... It feels cool in here. I don't feel a lot of air coming out of the vents. I don't know if that's... The air's blowing on high. I just don't know what we got for if the vents open and closing. But we got cool air coming out of the defrost. So the AC might work. Like I said, the little 352 barrel runs like a top. Kicks down on the transmission. One finger on the steering wheel. I mean, there's just absolutely no play in the steering at all. Shut that fan off. Turn signal indicator works good. Nice and quiet at a stop sign. Like I said, it's, it doesn't need a tune up. Uh, scoots right down the road. We'll get that speedometer fixed and a guy could jump in this and drive it anywhere you wanna go. It's tight, it's nice, it, it's tuned up. As far as our brakes go, we'll check them at high speed, see what we got. Absolutely no pull left or right. You got a full pedal. No disappointments in this thing mechanically. Paint is in great shape. Interior appears all original and is in very nice shape. Um, just a lot of original car for your money.